I had a chance to tour Sam's Castle in Pacifica's Sharp Park area. It was closed for two and a half years because of the COVID-19 pandemic, and now it is back open, and I'm told it's busier than ever. High atop Pacifica, this 115-year-old castle overlooks the Pacific Ocean and Highway 1. Sam's Castle is now back open to the public after closing down during the pandemic. People want to be out, people want to come visit, people want to be together. It's been really great fun reopening and having the life back in the house. This is a beautiful example of the collection of Sam Maza. Husband and wife Jerry and Deidre Crow volunteer giving tours to the Pacifica Historical Society. It's 22 rooms and four turrets and it's just uh, marvelous. The Crows dress up as Henry Harrison and Emily McCloskey, the castle's original owners. Henry Harrison McCloskey, grandfather of Congressman Pete McCloskey, built the mansion like a fortress after losing his San Francisco home in the 1906 earthquake. The castle has seen many reincarnations as a speakeasy, illegal abortion clinic, brothel, and Coast Guard barracks during World War II. This is a, a photo of Sam Maza at the age of 18, and he was the last owner of the castle and the collector of these artifacts that you see all around us. Sam Maza bought the castle in 1959, filling it with antiques, eclectic collectibles, and movie props. My favorite room includes a, an inlaid screen that was acquired by actor William Holden when he made Love is a Many Splendor Thing in Hong Kong many years ago. And it also has a harmonium. You can walk up these stairs to four turrets at each end of the castle, leading to rooms with private entrances. No surprise, there are stories about ghosts at this mansion that has withstood so many transformations. The Sam Maza Foundation now maintains the castle. Jeanette Cool is the executive director. There's so many things in the collections that are detailed, that have uh, historical significance, or they're just beautiful, or they had use, and we don't know these things now, and I think it gives people an opportunity to come into a, a different era. Now it can add another era to the list, the COVID-19 pandemic. After being closed for two and a half years, visitors get to experience the wonder of the castle again. It's a pleasure to make sure that memories are preserved appropriately. And the castle is open for tours one weekend a month. It's a one and a half hour tour. They also have some special events with music and they have Mother's Day teas. Those are coming up on May 14th, but I'm told they're already sold out. Tickets are $30 for tours. You can reserve those online. We have all the information on our website and I've also tweeted that link.